So the state of, of emergency has been declared in West Virginia after a train carrying crude oil derailed and then exploded. It happened along a river in Fayette County, about 33 miles southeast of Charleston. Several tanker cars plunged into the water, and neighbors say it was like an atomic bomb going off, and it looks like one. Unbelievable scene there. Heavy snow, bitter cold temperatures, making it very tough for the investigators to get out there and figure out what happened. Doug McElway is live with more. So, Doug, it is remarkable that no one was killed or injured in that explosion or fire. Boy, so true, Martha. Only one person being treated for possible respiratory problems. But that's it for injuries. Indeed remarkable, considering that one resident said he could feel the heat from that inferno from his home a half mile away. This CSX freight train, two locomotives and 109 tank cars carrying Bakken crude oil from North Dakota to Yorktown, Virginia, derailed yesterday afternoon. Up to 14 cars were engulfed in flames. This loud explosion uh, uh, was uh, part of, of the deal there. You see that, that uh, big inferno there. Nearby residents of Mount Carbon in Fayette County were evacuated. CSX and the American Red Cross are now assisting residents. Local responders first believed that as many as 1,000 people were displaced, but by late Monday, only 85 were in shelters. It was extremely cold and snowing heavily at the time of the derailment, but uh, authorities don't know if the weather contributed to the derailment. One tank car plunged into the Canal River, uh, forcing a nearby water treatment plant to shut its intake valves. Potable water is being brought in, we are told, while the water quality is being assessed. Martha? Yeah, so there's been a lot of federal pressure to upgrade tank cars following several incidents that were similar to this, right, Doug? Yeah, in 2011, uh, especially that uh, terrible derailment in Quebec that killed so many people, uh, since that event, the NTSB, the Department of Transportation, the rail industry have all been working together to uh, build a new design of rail car. But in fact, all 109 of the cars involved in this accident were of an upgraded standard featuring uh, thicker shells, enhanced uh, top fittings, and redesigned uh, pressure relief valves. Uh, critics of oil shipment by rail are saying that this is yet another example of why why we should be turning to pipelines, and this is, a, uh, to use an analogy, certainly going to feed mm -hmm. the, the fuel for the yeah. Keystone XL pipeline. Gives us something Martha? to think about, that's for sure. Doug, thank yeah. you very much.